The ancients looked at the sky. The sky was full of mystery and wonder. And in the year 1066, the most important date on the British calendar, there was a comet, a comet which sailed over the battlefield of Hastings. It frightened the troops of King Harold, and a young man from Normandy swept into England and defeated King Harold at the Battle of Hastings, creating the modern British monarchy. But the question is, where did the comet come from? What was this comet that mysteriously paved the way for the coming of the British monarchy? That same comet, the very same comet that initiated the British monarchy, sailed over London once again in 1682. same comet, the very same comet. Isaac Newton invented a new telescope. It was the reflecting telescope, and he was tracking the motion of this comet. Well, it turns out that everyone was talking about the comet, including a rather wealthy Englishman by the name of Edmund Halley. So Edmund Haley, being a wealthy merchant, decided to make a trip to Cambridge to talk to England's illustrious scientist, Sir Isaac Newton. Well, Edmund Haley asked Newton, what do you make of this comet? No one understands comets. They're a mystery. They've been fascinating people for centuries, for millennia. What are your thoughts? And then I paraphrase, but Isaac Newton said something like this. He said, oh, that's easy. That comet is moving in a perfect ellipse. It's moving in, a, in an inverse square force field. I've been tracking it every day with my reflecting telescope, and the path of that comet conforms to my mathematics exactly. And of course, we don't know what Edmund Haley's reaction was, but I paraphrase. He must have said something like this. For God's sake, man, why don't you publish the greatest work in all of scientific history? If correct, you have decoded the secret of the stars, the secret of the heavens. Nobody understands where comets come from. And then Newton responded and said, oh, well, it costs too much. I mean, I'm not a wealthy man. It would cost too much to summarize this calculus that I've invented and to work out all the motion of the stars. And then Haley must have said this, Mr. Newton, I am a wealthy man. I have made my fortune in commerce. I will pay for the publication of the greatest scientific work in any language. And it was Principia, the principles, the mathematical principles that guide the heavens. Believe it or not, this is perhaps one of the most important works ever written by a human being in the 100,000 years since we evolved from Africa. Realize that this book sets into motion a physics of the universe.